What's up, geeks and gamers? It's Jeremy coming to you with another video, and today we're going to talk more about this Star Wars theory uh, situation where Disney went in and claimed the rights uh, to monetize his Vader fan film. And the, he's done a response video because they responded to his uh, you know, questions about it and things like that. So, before we get started, so many people, so many people have said, uh, about my first video where they were like, uh, Lucasfilm, Lucasfilm is not directly irresponsible, Jeremy, you're being so mean to Lucasfilm by blaming them, stop, Lucasfilm is so innocent, uh, Lucasfilm can kiss my ass, okay, Lucasfilm for the past year has called me racist, sexist, misogynist, they've called you racist, sexist, misogynist, we have seen them call everybody that's a Star Wars fan that called them out for their garbage movie. We've heard them call all of us names and dismiss us and act like that is a perfect film. We have heard it from Ryan Johnson to Kathleen Kennedy to Pablo Hidalgo and Chuck Wendig and so on and so forth. So screw Lucasfilm. I am not worried about Lucasfilm at all. And any any opportunity I have to call them out and put them on blast, you're damn right I will. As long as Kathleen Kennedy and Ryan Johnson are still affiliated with Lucasfilm, they will always feel the pain from me. So, for everybody crying, saying, Lucasfilm is so innocent, uh, no they're not, and no I will not stop calling them out. Now, let's get to business at hand. Warner Chapel is the company that ultimately filed the claim, along with Disney, and, um, it's complicated. He made a response. Star Wars Theory made a response, and he was talking about everything. And ultimately, what this comes down to is it's not because a company did something illegal, because they didn't. They're fully within their rights to do this, and companies do this all the time. Uh, another thing I had people in my comments saying was, Jeremy, you don't understand copyright laws. If you listen to my damn video, uh, you heard me say within the video that Every, these companies have a right to do this. I even defend Nintendo when they do this. So I understand how it could come off a little hypocritical that I defend Nintendo, yet I'm going after Disney for doing the same thing. This is bigger than all of that. For Again, for the last year, we have had Star Wars become social justice factory number one from Kathleen Kennedy. We have had Star Wars uh, basically raped and sodomized to become nothing more than a projection studio. So now, after we see Star Wars treated like that for so long, after, when we see that there's no passion and no heart within Star Wars, okay, then we see someone that has passion, that has a following, and takes all of their money and puts it all on the line simply to make a Star Wars passion project, does it the right way, goes to Lucasfilm, gets all the permission, uh, gets all of the approval, puts all this money on the line, not knowing if they're going to, they're, well, he, he wasn't going to make all of the money up, at least in terms of this particular project, because he couldn't monetize it, but he did it out of passion for Star Wars. So when Star Wars fans who have been mistreated so much for the past year by the company formerly known as Lucasfilm, which is Kathleen's social justice factory, when we see someone do what Star Wars Theory did, well, of course, we're going to rally around that person, and we're going to support that person, and that's why the Vader fan film has over 6 million views as of right now. That's why it went viral. That's why everybody is talking about it, and everybody is supporting it, because it has passion, and it's something that Star Wars fans have been lacking, and not only have we been lacking passion, but we have been attacked by Lucasfilm directly. So, that... Along, not, so you take all the attacks, you take all of the dismissal from Lucasfilm over the past year, then you combine it with the passion project from Star Wars Theory, then not only is there a passion project, but it's actually amazing, and it actually honors the mythology, and it actually respects the characters, and it actually grows the characters, and it gives them more context. When you see that, and then you combine it with the other, then you see Disney come in, and Warner Chapel, Chapel come in and file a claim on something that wasn't even monetized. 
Now they are manually turning ads on so they can make money off of a passion project when in fact they lack all the passion that is required of a Star Wars studio or uh, a company that is developing Star Wars. They lack all the passion so now they're taking the money from someone that has the passion and had the balls to put all the money on the line because they love Star Wars. When you look at the whole picture, that is why this has become such a hot topic. Again, if Star Wars would have been awesome for the past year, and if Lucasfilm would have respected the Star Wars fans, respected the mythology, respected the original trilogy, respected the prequels, and tried to build upon what George Lucas gave us, if the past year, and honestly you can go back to the last three years, if the past three years hadn't been muddied with this SJW politics and this dismissal of the fans, if all of that didn't happen, then I think with what happened with Star Wars Theory probably would have been different. You still would have gotten the same passion from him. You, same, you still would have gotten the same quality from him. And it still would have been a huge hit among the fandom. Okay, but you wouldn't have had Star Wars fans so desperate for Star Wars. They would have appreciated this, they would have loved this, they would have been awesome, they would have been rallying around him still, but it wouldn't have been to the level that we've gotten it now. But because we've been starved, and then we get this, we've rallied around this person, and then the company that has starved Star Wars fans for passion and for heart is now coming in and taking money from the individual that has the passion that wasn't even making money off the project. So you're talking about a perfect storm here, basically. You're talking about a perfect storm of circumstances that have made this bigger than life now. This entire situation has blown up, and rightfully so. And the person that is looking the best is Star Wars Theory, rightfully so, because he's the one that had the passion. So you've got this greedy, soulless, heartless corporation, company, mega billion dollar company producing Star Wars content with no heart and no passion and no soul whatsoever and they're only using it for a social justice propaganda platform. And then you have this person who says, hey, I love Star Wars, I, I'm going to put a lot of passion into this, I'm going to put my money on into this and I'm not even going to make money back and I just want to do it for the fans because I love Star Wars and everybody loves it. And then that same greedy corpora corporation comes in and says, oh, you made this? Oh, we don't have passion. Oh, we don't have a heart. Oh, we don't have a soul. We don't have anything that resembles uh, something positive from a company that should be producing Star Wars, but you do. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to manually turn on ads that you didn't turn on because we told you you couldn't, and now we're going to make money from your passion. Holy crap. This is so bad. This is so bad on a massive level. And again, if you are anybody who is trying to defend this, you are a shill and you are not taken seriously. And it's why your channel is dying. It's why nobody listens to you because you can't be taken seriously because you don't have an objective bone in your body. You are all about impressing the mouse and, and getting those press passes and getting into those celebration, uh, you know, that celebration convention with your media credentials and go for it. God bless you. Have it all day long. But when people don't listen to you and don't take you seriously, understand why. So again, that's what this comes down to. It comes down to a soulless company versus a passion project. The soulless company starved Star Wars fans, the passion project gives Star Wars fans what they've been longing for and then the soulless company comes in and because of the passion project has outdone their greedy project, now they are going to monetize the passion project. It's amazing. It's absolutely incredible. So anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. You guys have a great day and we will talk to you later.